Go to solo M. It's L, hey, for sure. Okay. What's the L? We're gonna do a uh, couple of percussion channels uh, tracks, and I'm gonna use a uh, MS recording technique. It's a it stands for mid side. It's a stereo uh, recording technique that I that I really like. I find it sounds very natural and uh, it's easy to set up in a small space and uh, have pe make people in a group like it. Um, you need two condensers for it, either set to Omni or Figure Eight. I prefer Figure Eight. I find it gives a wider stereo image. Um, and you just align them exactly one above the other. So what ends up happening is that the mid mic kind of picks up this way, obviously. And then the uh, the figure eight, you point the uh, where it's going to reject exactly where the mid mic is going to pick up. So what you have on the on the side mic is that any positive phase is going to be left, and negative phase is going to be right, or vice versa. So in your uh, in your workstation, you just double this track, flip the phase on one, and then hard pan them, and you have a very you're essentially getting a stereo image out of one mic, which is really cool. So in the in the control room, what you want to do is you want to um, Set up your two inputs. So I have mine coming in on my analog 5 and analog 6. Analog 5 is my mid. So that's easy. It's just one channel mid. I set that up how you would regularly. But your side channel, what you have to do is you have to duplicate that channel, uh, hard pan them, and then flip the phase on, on one of the channels. Um, then what you get is you get uh, all the positive... Um, Signal coming into that mic becomes left, and the, all the negative becomes right. So it actually, uh, it's actually a fairly wide uh, stereo image. I mean, considering that it's really one microphone. Um, yeah, so you can see right here, I have my mid coming in on analog five, and uh, my left right coming in on analog six. And you won't be able to hear it very well uh, through that microphone, but just this percussion track is the. Uh, is the mid side and it's actually quite wide hey can like mm -hmm. and it's easy because it's ready to mix um what you see in the room is what you get as far as a stereo image and uh you know if, if you're dealing with acoustic groups and people that are, are feeling creative um it's really easy to change up that stereo image and just have people move from side to side the other thing i like about it too is sometimes i'll use it to um fake a larger choir than is there so I'll set up an MS uh, pair, <clears throat> and I'll have two or three people in the room, and they'll stand in certain areas, and they'll sing. And then I'll have them move slightly, and they'll sing again, and then I can put those together, and it ends up sounding like a really, this uh, the same space, but full of people, as opposed to just different mics. So, it's, it's, I don't know, I find it to be like a, uh, a bit of an audio illusion, in the sense that it, you can tell it's the same space, but it sounds like there's more people there. I like it. That's my mess. Mm -hmm.